Leicester City women have already made their own Continental Cup history by making the quarterfinals for the very first time. Now they're eyeing up a place in the final four as they come up against Crystal Palace in an all-championship tie. Palace qualified from a group containing Bristol City, London Bees and Lewis to set up tonight's clash. City are hoping to repeat their league performance on this ground. That was back in October, coming from behind to win 4-1. Leicester come into tonight's game on the back of five successive league wins. There are four changes to the 11 that beat Sheffield United on Sunday, with De Graaf, Cataldo, Thomas and Paul coming in, Sam Tierney moving into midfield. The Foxes saw off championship side Blackburn Rovers and Super League club Birmingham City to make the final eight of the competition. It's the Eagles in their home colours that get us underway for this quarter-final clash. Leicester City in the middle of a massive week. That win against promotion rival Sheffield United on Sunday. This quarter-final clash tonight before they come up against another promotion rival on Sunday when they face Liverpool. Looking to start this game on the front foot. Ball going back to Plumtra. A scorer on Sunday, her first for Leicester City, searching out leading goal scorer Natasha Flint. Support arriving for Flint as it's played into Paul. Now it's Thomas, a couple of options to the right. One of them is Esme de Graaf. Back towards Thomas, who wins it back. Tierney operating in front of the back four rather than being in it this evening. Graf will keep that one in play and earns the first throw of the game. Ball sent in from De Graf. Not the most convincing of clearances, it is eventually, before it falls to Natasha Flint, who decides to take strike, and the goalkeeper touching that one away from the goal. From any kind of range, Flint has that in her locker and will certainly be the player to watch for Crystal Palace this evening. Early strike on goal. Paul. Ball into Flint. That's a neat turn. It's a decent shot. It's a relatively comfortable save from Gibbon in the Crystal Palace goal. But Flint again proving to be the danger. And certainly the player to watch for Palace. Freya Thomas. Plenty of space there on the edge of the area. Picking out Lashante Paul. Her shot just drifting away from goal. Well, it's all Leicester City so far. They're creating all of the chances. So far, Emma Gibbon relatively untroubled in the Crystal Palace goal, but Leicester gaining confidence from this dominance. Remy Allen over the free kick. It's a floated delivery, touched away, still in the danger area, missed by Tierney. Falls to Natasha Flint, gets a shot away. That's a very good save from Gibbon. And Paul shots is wide, but it did take a deflection. Will be a Leicester corner. But again, Leicester coming close. Tierney taking a swing and missing it, but Flint still able to create an opportunity and it needed a smart save from Eber Gibbon. That's missed by Hurley. Paul is on the chase and will get there before Johnson. Flint is in support, but Paul might fancy a shot herself and does as it just bounces past the post and beyond Gibbon. In the Eagles goal, first shot in anger of the second half comes from Lashante Paul, still Leicester with the attacking intent. Devlin, Leicester will be looking for her creative spark in this second half. Falls to De Graaf, her cross fizzed in, missed by Gibbon, falls to Flint, fired wide. Big chance, two big chances for Leicester. De Graaf with a teasing ball in, Gibbon touching it out of the reach of Liv Ferguson. But then when he came to Natasha Flint, the Leicester leading goal scorer, you fancy her from that kind of range with that kind of opening, but this time off target. Paul showing the Crystal Palace defence a clean pair of heels. Her chip ball in, Flint arriving, poke wide. Another Leicester City chance, another chance for Natasha Flint, created by Lashante Paul. An instinctive strike from Flint, poking it goalwards, but wide off the goal. Paul 
She's having some joy down that Leicester left. And again, she's looking to tease her way into a creative opportunity at the second attempt. It's her cross in. It's Ferguson. It's wide. Leicester come close again. Lashante Paul created all kinds of problems for Crystal Palace. And Ferguson's volley falling wide of the goal of Ebert Gibbon. Cross delivered in. Gibbon hasn't quite got there, Remy Allen. That will be cleared away by Hurley. Late drama in this game as it falls for Flint. Leicester after a free kick and will get one right on the edge of the area with just a minute to play. Allen and Flint, it's clearly going to be Flint to strike. It is Flint and it's a Leicester City goal and it could be a historic goal. Enough to send them through to the semi-finals for the first ever time of the Continental Cup and it's rifled in by the leading scorer. Flint for the Foxes, is her goal enough? It's all eyes on the referee as we are deep into injury time. Anywhere will do from Lashante Paul. It will be a Crystal Palace throw as they look to the referee who blows the whistle and Leicester City for their first ever time will be in the Continental Cup semi-final thanks to a late goal from their leading goal scorer, Natasha Flint. It's already been an amazing season and it has just got better. They're into the final four.